Hello guys, so today we're gonna talk about Tachidisk. Tachidisk is basically a software from which you can download and read the manga offline as there are many people, those who prefer reading the manga online since they're, well, they, they just can't read online. So Tachidisk is basically, as I said, a software which uses different manga extensions from where you can read the manga actually so let's get started with tachi desk as i have downloaded already the process of downloading will be covered up in the next video as for this video we'll be basically giving you an introduction and the guide to it and information about it basically so let's get started so as you can see we have a library in which you have your manga that you're reading currently so i'm reading these manga so we have updates in the updates you will be informed about your l manga as my Hero academia chapter 339 just came out yesterday so the Lim links last chapter in fact came out yesterday and so here you can see them you'll be informed you won't miss out on anything then we go to the extensions from where you can add the extensions basically to read the manga I have already installed these ex extensions to my Tachi desk and there are in fact updates to your manga extensions so I'm simply gonna go and update my manga extensions so well there you go you, and now I'm gonna tell you how you can simply add the extensions to your to your touchy desk so you're just gonna scroll down and then you'll find the language specific manga extension too like if you are like reading manga in English so you just scroll down and scroll down and scroll up you will find them the desired extension and if you want to add suppose let's say what should I what should I pick for it let's say manga leveling or something I don't know about this extension just showing you just gonna go here install it it's installing well it's done and now when you go to the top you can see it will be here where is it yeah here it is you can see so this is manga leveling and if you like suppose all right I'm done with this extension I don't want it anymore if you just go here and uninstall it it'll be out of your extension list and I personally have these extensions as my primary because they are like I've been reading a lot of manga from them even when I was reading them online like manga desk I mostly use manga life and manga nato and manga C manga life is like my favorite site so I'll I'll give an introduction about this site too I'll make a specific video for this and you even have this read comic online like suppose if you're a fan of um, American comics like Marvel Avenger stuff you can simply just add this extension all you have to do is just scroll down though I would have preferred if they had like a search icon here for searching your extension so it would have been a lot more convenient and faster anyway so let's go to the sources from where you can actually see your use your extensions basically to search the manga that you desire just go here and you can simply search icon from where you can specifically search a manga where you have this latest or browse from browse let me show you you have a a lot of manga here like the most popular ones and if you want to search a specific manga like I would go here and um, let's say I want uh, mm, which one should I get let's say I just want to go to download one piece I'm just gonna go search as I haven't read the latest chapter so I can just search it. It will take some time. Well, it's taking a lot of time. So you can see here, we have One Piece. We have One Piece Digital Colored Comics. We have One Piece Party. I'm just gonna go, oh man, the internet sucks. You can see. So here you can see this is 
on these three button uh, dots you're gonna click here and then you can like I have already downloaded the chapter so let's say for 135 you want to download this you're just gonna click here but um, and also like you can bookmark this chapter and you can mark as red mark as red unmark so this is how you do it I don't want my internet going in for something I've already read so I'm just gonna delete it and also there's one more thing like you have downloaded a chapter let's say 136 which is already downloaded I'm just gonna I'm not gonna spoil it for you I'm just gonna give you a basic idea I'm just gonna give you a basic idea so this is how you can read the manga and if you like you're a type of person who doesn't want to scroll down instead you want to just like you know how you just click and like this you'll just have a single page in your screen so let me just kind of all right you can just simply click here you'll be the first page to second third like this oh man Zoro vs King it's gonna be awesome by the way and like this you can basically read the manga offline there are a lot of others if you want to open the site itself the extension site like I want to open manga life it will just simply take you there and also oh yeah there's one more thing you can add this to library remove from library and whatever you have downloaded like it's not like it's just gonna be in the air or whatever you have downloaded it gotta be saved somewhere so it's gonna be saved as images in your this path you can see this path from this pc to windows ssd c users and then the users whatever your well the user is and then the app data which will be hidden so you're gonna go to the view and hidden items when you click here you will be shown this app data appearing on your screen and in the locals you go to the tachi desk here you will see downloads just click here and this is the ex extension manga life that i used to download all the mangas here will be saved as images so you can see like great teacher onizuka so you can read from here as well if you don't want to open the site so it's up to you how you want to read the manga from here so it's basically a very good website when it comes to reading manga offline on PC if there is a an Android version for it which is called Aniomi no Tachiyomi yeah Aniomi for anime Tachiyomi for manga so this is a pretty good website overall um, software i'm sorry but this opens with the chrome so this is good so this is it for the video in the next video i'll show you how to download this and in fact how you can like open this folder specifically because there are a lot of people those who won't wanna those who have storage problems so do i have so like 5.94 gb you can visit this folder i'll show you the path of, for it too i hope this one helps you and well till then take care